He disappeared in 1969, but tonight the remains of a Vietnam fighter pilot are back home with his wife and adult children. The Burlingame family has been waiting for this day for more than 50 years. The disappearance of Lieutenant Colonel Ernest DeSoto was an agonizing mystery that plagued his family. NBC Barry's Tom Jensen was there for the emotional homecoming today in San Francisco. Lieutenant Colonel Ernest DeSoto finally back home in San Francisco in the belly of this United Airlines jet. His casket draped in a U.S. flag arrived 54 years after he disappeared in Vietnam. His entire family and dozens of friends were there to greet him, ending a half century of searching and fighting back feelings of hopelessness that this day would never come. But his widow, now 90, was his sweetheart since high school in San Francisco, and she refused to give up. I went to President Nixon, we went to Kennedy, and they just told us to go home. Don't pay attention, we're taking care of it. We're gonna make it worse. But we didn't go home. We just kept fighting. Joyce and Ernie DeSoto were married and had three children at home in the spring of 1969 when the family heard the news that Ernie had disappeared and rescue efforts failed. Why? Why 54 years? Why couldn't they have found him? I thought that he was tortured. I thought he was, you know, a prisoner. Until recently, Lieutenant Colonel DeSoto was one of more than 81,000 servicemen and women who were unaccounted for and missing in all U.S. conflicts since the start of World War II. After a while, you get on with your life, never thinking you're going to get any answers, but I'm, we're very happy we have answers thank now. You, Craig DeSoto was only eight when his dad went missing. His sister Denise was just two, and their brother Brad was 11. They'll never forget hearing the knock at the door, followed by the news that their dad's jet fighter had gone down and he was missing in action. So I remember uh, standing by the front door, I just collapsed and uh, cried, and um, I knew what it all meant. But thanks to DNA science, parts of DeSoto's remains were identified, and today, Ready. Stop. he returned home to his loving family. I thought, for sure, I'd be dead. I didn't know I had to wait till be 90 to go through this. The family also recently learned Ernie died in his aircraft when it crashed and that he didn't suffer, nor was he captured and tortured. Those are the answers. Where is he? You know, That's... we walked over to the casket and she goes, where have you been? A sense of closure now for the entire family as Ernie's remains come home and they all share an emotional moment together. Yeah. It's not goodbye right now. It's, yeah. it's hello. The family said hello again today, but tomorrow is all about goodbyes. Tomorrow morning, a funeral service is planned, followed by a burial ceremony here at Golden Gate National Cemetery, complete with a military flyover fit for a returning hero. In San Bruno, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.